You ever get the feeling that you're on a ship without a captain? Or at least on a ship that is being directed by a captain that is, shall we say, a bit lacking in competence? If you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, I'm, we're going to get a lot done. Well, those kind of feelings can sometimes give way to a bit of nostalgia, and you find yourself pining away for days when the dude in charge actually understood something about the world and also appreciated the primacy of human liberty. You and I have within ourselves the God-given right and the ability to determine our own destiny. But freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. One generation away. Gotta be honest, I really don't want to be that generation. And yet, looking around at nincompoopery like this, and it's more than a little concerning. My position is we must make the lives of the unvaccinated a total misery and just keep escalating the exclusions until we crush the resistance and break their spirit in order to force compliance and so they learn not to resist government mandates. What in the world? Now, the first sign that was gonna be a doozy was the fact that it was a reply to none other than Keith Olbermann, a man who has obviously proven himself to be the pinnacle of both sanity and rational thinking. Investigate and prosecute Trump first. Then this country can heal, not before. But seriously, this position sounds like it's straight out of Star Wars. Crush the resistance? If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. Until they learn not to resist? Don't make me destroy you. All right, just a tip for the uninitiated, those that might be unaware. The Emperor and his posse, they weren't the good guys in that story. And those who advocate for their governing approach aren't the good guys in our story. Ask Joss, a reader who sent in this email from New Zealand just a day ago. The New Zealand government has just locked down the entire country for at least the next three days because of a single suspected case of Delta variant COVID-19. I run a business only to watch it being destroyed by these Marxist Muppets. Unreal. Thomas Jefferson called it just over two centuries ago, writing to Edward Carrington. The natural progress of things is for liberty to yield and government to gain ground. Wrecking people's lives and ruining their livelihoods in some futile attempt to stop the inevitable spread of a virus that mercifully has an astronomically high survivability rate? That's precisely what Tom was talking about. So here are your choices. Choose wisely.